Hello Scott class, I hope you're keeping happy and safe inside your home. Today we are going to use our 10 frames to help us see do we have more or less of something. For today's lesson I decided to grab all of my badges from my badges collection which I keep in this jar. Do you have a collection? A collection is when over a space of time you keep lots of the same thing. So for example, I've got lots of different badges or maybe you call them pins from different places I have been. So when I go somewhere new, I'll grab a pin or a badge and I've got lots of them. So you'll see them all in this video. And some of these badges are from different countries across the world. So can you please stop the video and if you have a collection, go and grab it now. If you don't have a collection, don't panic. But for this video, you will need two 10 frames. Okay, you don't need to have it on one piece of paper like this. I've just got it on a big piece of paper. If you need two pieces of paper, that's okay. And you need 10 of one thing and 10 of the other. If they need to be different, that's okay. So for example, you might have 10 pieces of Lego and 10 counters. You might have 10 jigsaw pieces and 10 raisins. Whatever you like. Do you think you can go do that now for me? Fantastic. Okay, off you go. Stop the video. Welcome back. Have you got the things you need? Well done. Well, I have got mine, but I just need to make sure that I've got 10 of both. Do you think you can help me fill the 10 frame to make sure I have 10? Okay, I'm going to tilt the camera down so that you can see my table. There, you can see my table and I've got some pins in this side and some pins in this side. The pins in this side are ones that I've kept on their cardboard just because I thought the cardboard helped give some information about where they came from. Whereas these ones are just small because I was able to grab them. Some of them in charity shops, some of them were gifts and it didn't come with cardboard so these are small. So let's sort out the big ones and the small ones using our 10 frame to make sure we've got 10 of both. So I'm going to fill up my 10 frame. Because if all the boxes are full, that means I have how many? 10, you're right. All the boxes are full. How many do I have? I have 10, you're right. Okay, now I'm gonna fill down here. Hopefully it's full or I'll have to go and get some more out of my jar. Are they all full? Fantastic. Let me tilt you up so you can see me. I definitely got 10. Brilliant. Today in our lesson, we're going to use the words more, more and less, less. We're also going to use the word equal to, equal to. We've talked about these words in school. More means if we have more objects, doesn't it? If the number is further up the number line or if we can see that we have more. Less is when we have less objects, when the number is not as far up the number line and we will not have as many boxes full on our 10 frame. That's how we're able to use the 10 frame to see if we have more or less. And then equal to is when the numbers are the same. So at the moment, if I tilt my screen down again, do I have more or less big badges in comparison to my little ones. Stop the video and have a think. Do I have more or less? Did you get the answer? Let me tilt you up so you can see me. I don't have more. I don't have less. I have equal to. They're the same. I tried to trick you. Did you fall for my trick? So today we're going to play a game. 
I've got my two piles and my 10 frame. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to grab from the pile with one hand, one time, one hand, and see how many I grab. I'm then going to put it in the 10 frame so that I can see how many I was able to grab. This is why I said to get two different types of items because you might find the results are a little bit different. Are you ready? I'm going to tilt the screen down again. So, let me tilt the screen down. There, and I'll move my jar out of the way. So, I'm going to grab from this side. I wasn't able to grab very many. I'm going to push these away because I don't need them. And I'm going to count how many I was able to grab. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five. I was able to grab five. Right, time to grab from this side. I was able to grab lots of the small ones. I'll move that aside because I don't need it. And let me fill my 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, my 10 frame is now both full. So let's have a look at them both. I see some empty boxes, so I know I don't have 10 of either of my objects. It's now time to have a look. Do I have more of the small ones or more of the big ones? Stop the video and tell me. You're right. I have more small badges. Let's say that again together, will we? I have more small badges. So that means I have less big badges. Let me tilt you up so you can see me. And let's practice that together. I have more big badges. I have less small badges. Did I say the correct sentence? No, and I hope you were able to notice that. Let's try again, are you ready? I have less big badges. I have more small badges. We can make the sentence a little bit longer. I have more small badges than bigger badges. I have more smaller badges than bigger badges. I have less bigger badges than smaller badges. Well done. Do you think you can repeat this activity with your objects? Use your hands and use one hand to grab and then use your 10 frame to count. Once you've done it, can you make a sentence just like I have and tell a video of you saying which one you have more or less than? Try your best to see if you can speak in a full sentence. I don't want you just saying less. Can you say, I have less and tell me what you have less of. Fantastic. Your final challenge is can you, instead of using your 10 frame, grab three different piles with your hand and see can you then make sentences about each of the different piles. I can't wait to see the fantastic work you do and make sure to upload it onto Tapestry. Parents, when you're uploading onto Tapestry, make sure that you please comment if your child found this activity really easy, was able to do it okay, or if they struggled. And that way, I can then know for our future videos. Take care and I'll see you in our next video. Bye!